In this video, we are going to discuss about creating named extended access list. So what is this named extended access list? As we know that a standard named access list can be used and we need this named access list to have the filter of source and destination IP addresses. That means here named is deferred from numbered. But here in named, if you see that this filter the packets based on the source and destination IP address or combination of the both. You see there is no difference between numbered and named extended access list, but it differs in the syntax version. If you see, if you want to go into the access list, you have to go into the privilege mode first. For that, router enable configure terminal, it will take you into the privileged executive mode here. Now, the command used to define named access list is IP access list. So, if you type in IP access list question mark, it gives you the types of access list available like standard, extended, control access list, control access list logging, resequence access list and standard access list here. So, we are interested here in option called extended access list and we have to create an access list by with a name. So, we have created access list that is IP access list extended and the name is no sales here. Now if you see that after coming into the extended num named access list, we have to deny access for the sales department here. So we have to remark as a comment and give the command deny access from the sales network to the server. That means to the server we are denying the sales network to not to have an access. In the same way the first access list statement packets from the sales department will not be sent to the server network. If you see here, deny IP address, this is the IP address with this wildcard mask and not to have access to host of this and log the details. That means that this IP address should not access the host. So that's the reason we have denying the IP address to not to have access to the host of this IP address and also log the attempts it's trying to access. So if you see here that again, we have to allow TCP from any source to any destination. So what is the command used? So if you see that in extended named access list, remark is given as allow TCP packets from any source to the destination and also permit TCP any to any. That means allow TCP packets from any source to any destination here. So remember that all sources are not specifically permitted. So they are not specifically permitted and are denied by implicit deny statement. So here as we are permitting the TCP and also denying one of the IP address. So, there is a uh, sources of not specifically implicitly denied. That means it is not implicitly getting denied, but it is given denial only because of certain condition from source to destination. So, this is about the named access list and we will be discussing about the NAT and NAT types in the next videos.